Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel, and today we will be doing some crayon resist art. Let's start! For this project you will need some watercolors, a yellow or orange crayon, brushes, a regular piece of paper, and a little bit of water. Let's start. So we're going to start actually with a crown. You get the smallest piece. And make a web. You can make a web either in the middle or on the side. Uh, remember the web usually has a center. So decide where the web is, where your center is. Mine is going to be like right here and so I'm only going to see a part of my web. Mine looks like um, maybe rays from the sun. Oh, that's beautiful right there. So, and then uh, when you're actually making the web, because we just made the main, kind of like a foundation of the web, the rays. Now we need to make the actual web. And so it's curved towards the center a little bit. Every line is curved towards the center just a little bit. Just like this. Once we figure out how to do this, we can fast forward, I think. So, curve towards the center, and you can do them as close or as far from each other. I guess it's kind of a pattern. I mean, yeah, but... It's a radial pattern, actually, that's what it is. Spider somewhere. I think I'm gonna have a spider right here cut on the side. Remember spiders have how many legs? Eight! <laughs> you have to think about it, didn't you? Uh, with watercolors, we do need to use water, but we do not mix the colors over here. For example, if we want orange, and we don't like this orange right here, we take a little bit of yellow, put it here, remember? Then wash our brush and get a little bit of red, and mix it here, not here. That way, these colors stay as clean as possible, and we can have the color we like over here. Also, because we're using regular paper, Make sure that we're not putting too much water or this paper will fall apart. Let's start. All you do is find the color you like, get a little bit of water, and start coloring. And what happens is as you color coloring, you will notice that the spider web and the actual spider will not get covered with your paint. <clears throat> and make sure you don't accidentally paint on your partner's paper, that would be bad. <laughs> Life lessons. From Katya. From, from Katya. Why are you getting all black on yours? Because a spider web is supposed to be scary. Oh. Yeah. It is? Sure. It's if you believe hard enough. Alright, well I wanted to make it kind of happy. So it's going to have a little bit of black on it, but it's also going to have a orange. happy spider web? Yeah, sure. I love fall. I like everything about fall, so why not? Including the spiders. Yeah, spiders are okay. They Wait. catch the flies. Flies annoy me a lot more than spiders do. Okay. I'm going for more of a Halloween, so it's not going to be all black, but... This is actually really cool. I've never done this before.
Let's put it where we can see it. There. Closer. There you go. Okay, so our spider webs, I think they're done. So now we have our crayon resist paintings. They are all done and ready to be put on the drying rack.